Hi, welcome to Blender Savage. So today I will show you how to um, use the array modifier. But to use the array modifier, we are going to uh, create a white picket fence. And also we'll do some UV um, unwrapping and mapping. So first you want to get a picture. Actually first, I keep forgetting to mention, we got to make a project folder. So we're going to use a UV map and use a UV uh, wrap. When you put uh, pictures on your objects, you got to store everything together on the folder. Or next time you open that Blender file, it's not going to be there um, if you open it up in a different computer or location. So I'm going to go over here to the desktop somewhere, right click. On my desktop, I'm going to create a project folder in there. New, folder, so right click on your desktop, go to new, and then new folder. I'm going to name this one uh, Fence Project. Fence Project. Go enter. I'm going to save my Blender file in there and my UV maps in there. That way, I have something, uh, uh, Blender, I will have something to reference to when, they, when it uses the image here to wrap it onto my mesh. All right, so we want a white picket fence. You want to get an image that looks something like this. This is from a Home Depot's website. I just went to Google Images. Uh, what I did first, I just typed in white picket fence, and I didn't get many uh, results or results that, I, results that I liked. I want something up close. I want to set up some textures. This one looks like a 3D model already, so I didn't want that. I wanted real, uh, realism. This one, um, this one I wasn't too sure about. I had that little bite in there, one of the knots in the wood. Uh, this one's at an angle. Uh, this one has a uh, brush there, some of those plants. I went with uh, white picket fence close up. And hopefully, I get a better uh, result. These were a little too close. I wanted the whole picket fence. Something like, uh, something like this. So this one has that, uh, still at an angle, has that watermark there. This looks good here. But watermark again. So then, what worked for me? was uh, one white picket, one white picket, I try to go with that. And then I'm finding this image here from the uh, Home Depot website, Home Depot. So I clicked on that one. And then I got this black frame here. Now I can save it. I'm gonna right click it, go to save image as. And I'm just gonna name it white fence. I'm gonna save it inside that folder, desktop. I made a project folder. Where's my project folder? Point it out if you see it. There it is, fence project. Double click it to open it. Cool. I'm going to save that one in there. White fence. Save. Cool. There we go. Go back over to Blender. I'm going to delete this cube here. X key delete. There we go. I'm going to bring in a plane. Shift A, mesh, plane. You go plane. It's in for top view. There you go. I'm looking down on the plane. Plane comes in flat. Uh, looking up on the z-axis. I'm going to save this one here inside that project folder as well. File, save as, desktop, fence project, fence project, there you are. And I'll pull this one fence project as well. We can add the word array in there since we're doing an array. Save as Blender file. All right, there it is. Make sure you hit 7 on the number pad. Always have number lock on on your keyboard when using Blender. I am going to bring in the uh, that picture of that fence. So to bring it in, I'm going to hit Shift A. And I'm going to go down to Image and select Reference. Make sure you select Reference, not Background. So you're going to go to Shift A, Image, then Reference. There's my fence there inside my project folder. Since I saved my project there, double click that in. There it is. Uh, you can also go to Add right here. There's the Add button right there. Uh, my plane is in here somewhere. Let me see if I can click over there. There, there it is. I found it. You can't select your plane from there. You can select it from here. Here's your mesh object. There's my picture. Comes in as an empty. That's not mesh. It's a different type of object. And there's a picture icon for it to represent it. So click on your plane. Got my plane selected there. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm at the S key for scale. Pull the mouse away. I think I'll stop right there. Now I'm going to UV map this. I'm going to put this picture on this plane here. Then I'm going to select the areas that I want to use for editing for my fence, use for editing. So I have your plane selected, not the picture, but the plane. UV editing. There it is. So then for top view, it takes it into edit mode. Uh, it might look kind of weird like this. That's because it's the, uh, the plane and the picture occupying the same space. So I'm just trying to battle over what's going to get displayed. So we'll stand for top view there. All right. Make sure this is in top view. Now I'm going to select the material for this, the materials. 
new and to the right of base color over here so when you do a uv map you gotta click on that little rivet there in base color for materials and then image texture image texture from the pop-up menu there or a drop down menu and i'm gonna click on this picture icon here i already brought in the picture if it should be in there white fence there it is oh over here too let me zoom out all right now i'm going to project this from view i'm going to bring this onto this mesh from this view right here so stand for top view and then new key for unwrap project from view project from view project from view click on that one there cool that picture is now all here on the square uh, it looks kind of big there let me hit s for scale sorry it looks kind of small a for, select all here s for scale i'm gonna try to map the whole thing there we go now to make sure that it's there i'm gonna go up here spin the wheel click on rendered get the rendered view all right looks like it's there just to double check let me send for top view again i'm gonna hide the plane right here cool so that's a picture there look i just hit the plane has a picture there of the fence i'm going to bring it back don't move anything around here we're going to create a uh, loop cuts so i'm going to hold down the shift key hold down the middle mouse button slide this over i'm going to zoom in here to this side here i'm going to hover my mouse over the top to create a loop cut it's going to be Control r it should be a pink line there somewhere sometimes it's sorry a yellow line i'm going to left click i'm going to drag it over Try to put on the edge of uh, this picket fence there. Or you know, I can just go with the middle ones too, but I'm gonna go with this one right here. Zoom in or move it over. Left click to drop it and zoom in. All right, better be inside than outside because we don't want this area of white, the background white color. We want the white picket fence uh, off white color. All right, so I got that there. Now make sure your cursor is on the left side of that new loop cut, that new edge you just added in there. Put it on this side, hit Control R. I move it up towards the top somewhere. Uh, let me see, right click. I got to zoom out. Let me go up to this corner. Send for top view. Hold on the shift key. Hold on the middle mouse button. Pull up. There we go. Got to have it on one of the edges. So wherever you have your mouse, the new loop cut will be uh, perpendicular to that edge. So if I go over here, I'll get a vertical edge. If I go over here on this horizontal edge, if I go over here on this vertical edge, then the cut will be uh, horizontal. Let me show you here. Hover the mouse here, then Control R. See, there it is down there at the bottom. It also picks the, uh, the centermost point between two edges. I'm going to left click once. I'm gonna pull that up. Put it about right there. Let's see, a little bit more. Left click. Cool. Let me zoom in. All right. If, um, if for some reason it doesn't, it's off, once you zoom in and investigate, just undo it. Just hit Control Z. If you try to pull it, you can actually pull it, hit G grab. Oops, it'll actually pull the mesh. It didn't show it there, GZ. It's actually pulling the mesh, and you're, you're going to lose some of the quality of the picture, but it's not showing it in this view. All right. So I can do another loop cut here for the bottom part. Control R. It's my yellow line at the bottom. Left click, pull the mouse up. And then left click there. There we go. So the first time you uh, hit Control R, after Control R, the first time you left click, you commit to the number of cuts. You can actually add more than one. And they're evenly spaced. In this scenario, I'm not sure they're evenly spaced, so we're not going to add additional loop cuts. On the second left click, you commit to the uh, to the cut. Hover over here. You zoom in some more. Let me hold on Shift and the middle mouse button. Pull down. There we go. Control R. Left click. Pull that over. Right there's good. And I'm going to go over here. Control R. Left click. There we go. So as you can tell now, I am a uh, Tracing this using the loop cut tool, control R, left click, pull that over, bam. I want to make faces for these here. Control R up here, left click, and middle-ish, that looks good. And about equal distance on this side here, control R. I mean, oh, I didn't get it, control R. Well, it's probably way over off to the right. Let me click one time, bring it over to the left. There we go. It was way out there. I just couldn't see it. It was out of the screen. About the same distance there. Just eyeball it. Left click, there we go. I need to get something for this area here. Control R, left click, pull down. There we go, click. Control R, left click, pull down. Click, all right. And I'll do something about that in a bit. Let me go down here to the bottom. Hold on the shift key, middle mouse button, pull up. Zoom in down here. And I'll do the cuts here. Control R, left click, and up oh, right there. Control R, left click, and 
there we go. You want for down there, control R, left click. And there we go. I got those faces there. Let me zoom out, zoom back in here. All right, so the uh, the loop cut tool, I just hit seven for top view. Make sure you do this in top view. So I'm gonna cut that area there. What I gotta do, I gotta draw it in there. So I'm actually gonna use a knife tool. It's okay, K for knife. I'm gonna click on it once. See, I got a little scalpel now. I'm gonna hover my mouse over here on this vertex. You should get a red box on it once you're in a vertex. Click once, and then pull up uh, about that angle there, a little bit in, and then left click. Tool's still active, so I hit enter. Got to hit enter to commit to that cut. See, there we go. I got a cut in there. I just drew it. I could have drawn the whole thing, but that probably take a really long time. Okay. Click. And then pull up. Try to get about the same angle there. Click. Enter. There we go. Okay for knife. Hover over this vertex area. It'll, it'll snap to it. Left click. And pull up. Click. Enter. And I got to turn off the tool every time. I don't. You don't want to trace the, the whole thing. Okay. Click on that one. Pull up. Left click, enter. There we go. By hitting enter, turns the tool off and on. Sorry, it turns the tool off. It commits to the cut and it turns the tool off. Uh, it's kind of off, but it's all right. No one's going to notice it. Don't tell anybody. All right. Now we're going to go over here to layout. All right. To verify that the image is on there, let me hide the plane. Oh, sorry, let me hide the empty, the picture. Let me go over to rendered. There it is. All right, let me open up the plane. Make sure the plane select. I'm gonna select the plane from here. I'm just gonna delete it. X key, delete. There we go. Here's my fence. I'm gonna take that into edit mode. Tab key. There we go. Set for top view. Face selection. And is it off? It is off. It is freaking off. Let me see here. All right. Let's bring that plane back. Just undo, control Z, undo, 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 undo. UV sculpting. All right, edit mode over here. Got the fence there. A to select all. It's off right there. You can see there. B for grab, position it. Mm -mm. It's still off there. There we go. So this is off down there. Let me drag select that there. G Y. Gonna be G Y. Pull that up. There we go. Let me zoom in over here. And then these I could just drag select. Then G Y. There we go. There we go. That's about evenly spaced there. So it seems to be at an angle somewhat. Let me select that one. GY. There we go. You don't want to just move one vertex. You want to select a whole edge and pull the whole thing up. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to go back over to layout. Tab key. Cool, it matches up there. Let me hide the plane. Sorry, the empty, the picture. There we go. All right, stand for top view. I'm going to zoom in. Select the faces. Select that face there. Hold on the shift key. Select all those faces you just drew. So you want to get a white picket fence. There we go. Three for right view. E to extrude. Pull up. And about it's good, good distance. You can see it. There it is. I'm going to delete everything else. So to do that, make sure you properly selected uh, two pickets. And then the little board holding them there. So you're going to select everything that, that's uh, inverted, the contrary, everything else that's not selected. So with that selected there, I'm going to go over here to select and click on uh, invert. You can also hit the shortcut, control I. There we go. I selected everything else. I'm going to delete all those faces. So X key, select faces. Make sure you delete faces. There we go. Faces are gone. So A key to select all. One for front view or three for right view. Any of those will work. And let me zoom into that decimal key. E to extrude, extrude it out just a bit. Let's see there. That looks like a good uh, picket fence thickness. Tab key, there we go. Uh, my origin is over there now. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna right click my fence, set origin to center of mass. There it is, I wanna put it over there too. So I'm hit the end key. I'm gonna go over here to item. Hit the end key, get the slide bar. Get the sidebar menu. I'm gonna change all these to zero here. 
Okay, so while converting all those to zero, I accidentally uh, went into camera view by hitting zero on the number pad. Another shortcut you can do right here for location, that's the location of your, uh, your pivot point there, your mass of your center of origin for your object. You can just right click inside there and select reset all the default values and it'll just make them all zero for you. All right, so here's my fence. I'm gonna stand it up. So I'm at uh, R for rotate, X for the X axis, 90 enter. There we go, R, X, 90 enter. So I restricted the, uh, the rotation to the X axis, zero for camera view, see what the camera sees, all right. I'm gonna go over here to the modifier tab in the, in the properties panel, click on the blue wrench. And we're gonna add modifier, we're gonna use array. Array right here, and it'll create an array for us. See, there we go, we got two. I can increase the number to three. See, there we go. More, more, more. Let's see if I uh, increase the array over here for the Y. It's gonna go in a, in a weird direction. Yeah, see, there's all the duplicates there. Make that zero. Right now, it's arraying across the x-axis. There's one right there. That's a space of how far they're arraying. I just say one for front view here. If I increase this number, I'm going to get a little gap in there. See? Let me go back to one. If I decrease it, I'm just going to get bunched up in there. That's just how far away they are from each other. I can merge them, too. So later, when I commit to this array, they're, they're going to merge right here. Because if I don't hit the merge button, uh, they're all going to be uh, one, one object together but there's not, there's not gonna be anything there to connect them. It's gonna be a little gap. We don't want that. So we want them to merge. This typically um, a fence would be uh, arranged like that. It just depends on the project. So a fence here would be one solid plank all the way across. Uh, eventually there'd be another plank there, but you wanna merge those together. So let me try six. There you go, that's a good uh, size fence there. Seven for top view, one for front view, three for right view, cool. Uh, if I wanna array uh, another one in this direction, I don't change these values because if I showed you earlier, see it starts going at this weird angle. So I'm just gonna leave those at zero. I can add another array, but it's not gonna go um, along the y axis how you think it would go. So add a modifier, I can stack up the arrays. So this one's going in the same direction. Let me change that to zero. If I uh, add a value here to y, see it's going up and it went up. Let me try the z. Z's going forward there along the y. That's because originally we started with the plane that was facing up and we flipped it over. So now the, uh, the Y and the Z are flipped over. So it's not going to shoot in that direction. It's because you got to apply a rotation. So I'm gonna close out this array here. Leave that one there, I'm gonna apply it. So once you apply, you commit to it. So I'm gonna apply it, I'm gonna commit to it. There we go. Now just create a duplicate of this one here. So shift D R and we rotate along the X axis, probably the Z axis, hit the Z, Z for Z, Z for Zeta, Z for Zebra. And then 90, enter. There we go. And it's overlapping there. Send for top view. Let me zoom in. G for grab. I just have it just touch here in the corner. There we go. There you go. Typically, you wouldn't have um, the edge of your fence here. And a white picket fence wouldn't look like that. There'd be like a post at the end. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called. An end post, a fence post. See something like that at the end right there? Where's an edge of a fence? over here white picket fence every so often there there's a post on the fence see those big giant posts there here's one with the gate there's this big post there i look at a corner there we go there's a corner of a fence see there's that big post right there so that's that's what you would do and it'll uh, help hold up the uh the fence i'll just make a little small fence here a little small closure so i'm gonna select both of them i just held on the shift key clicked on the other one send for top view all right, shift D to duplicate, then R, 180, enter. There we go. G for grab, pull that up. Eyeball it. There we go. There we go. Got your little fence there. Z for camera view. Let me hold down the left mouse button, click all of them. Control J to join. All right, G for grab, put inside the frame. Boom. Ready for rendering there. F12. There it is. Bam. Come on, nice little cute fence there. This needs a little house. Or a dog house. Looks like a dog fence. Uh, if your F12 doesn't work, you can go up here to render, and there's render image right there. So thank you for watching. Have an awesome day.